Okay, this is the review of the uh, later case. Um, this case is uh, was apparently designed and um, uh, is sold by Lou from uh, Unboxed Therapy. Um, I just got this case not necessarily because it was designed by anybody or um, anything like that. Uh, I wanted a really thin case for my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Um, this case is ultra thin and um, one of the issues that I have, I like using a phone without a case, but uh, one of the issues is that it, um, when my hands get dry, it's just super slippery. Um, Samsung, Apple, all of them just make really smooth, slippery phones that don't have a lot of grip. Um, and when once you add a case, it makes the size of uh, a, one of the full size, like iPhone 12 Pros or Pro Maxes, uh, really big. So, um, wanted to keep it super thin and also wanted something that gave good grip. And um, this case, actually you know really delivers i'm i'm impressed and surprised in how nice this case is so um let's see i'll try to give you a close-up apparently it's made of kevlar i don't know how true that is or if it has kevlar in it my kids keep asking me if it's bulletproof and um honestly i don't really care uh, it looks pretty cool it's got a carbon fiber look um, it feels super soft. Uh, it's soft but grippy. Um, when my kids picked it up, they would say like, wow, it feels so soft. And it really does. It's got a very soft feel to it, but it also doesn't feel slippery at all. So it's, it's really great. And um, you can see, hopefully, how thin it is. It is just paper thin, like cardstock paper thin. Um, and so when you put it on the phone, clean it up a little bit, um, it clicks right in. And when you're putting it on, it almost feels like it's not gonna hold and not gonna be very tight. Like some iPhone cases are super tight and um, you know that they're gonna stay on. This one, when you put it on, you kind of feel like maybe it's not going to stay or hold. Um, and I thought that when I first got it and just put it on and didn't worry about it. And it's really not been a problem at all. Um, so it's, it's a great case. I highly recommend it. Uh, the... You know, I noticed there is, I don't know if you can see this, there's quite a gap here between the flash and the um, LiDAR sensor. There's, you know, there's nothing really there between it. It's just air um, between the case and the actual LiDAR. So um, it looks a little bit weird, but it hasn't seemed to affect function at all. You can see, um, it looks like it got a little bit of grease or something on it, but you can't really tell. Like, it wipes off nicely. It's not keeping fingerprints or anything like that. Um, it's just a really great case. So, uh, I'm happy I found this case for my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Uh, keeps it super small in the hand. Um, doesn't add a lot of extra um, just material for holding it and navigating. So um, I would just highly recommend this case. Uh, I've been really happy with it. It feels great. Um, I will probably keep these cases. The only thing I wish is they um, had a limited edition Willy Blue version for some of the older iPhones. And um, it was this nice navy blue, which would have gone great with my blue um, iPhone, but they didn't have that. And so I went ahead and just got the black because that was the only option. So um, if you're thinking about getting one of these and want a really thin case and a case that uh, feels really great and gives you grip, 
but doesn't add a lot of bulk. It's good. It probably doesn't provide a lot of protection if it's fall if your phone is falling or falls face down. There's a very small gap here. It's probably not going to provide much protection. Um, it's going to provide some protection on the edges, but I dropped this phone without a case on it and it was completely fine. Um, I've only dropped it once. So, you know, I wasn't really buying this case for ultimate protection. But I think it does protect the phone just fine. So that's the later case. Thanks.